Yo everybody, what's going on? This is Keegan from K-Man Reviews. If you enjoy this review, make sure you hit that like and the subscribe button. And if you have any opinions at all that you would like to share, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. James and the Shame, believe me. James and the Shame is the musical side project of internet personality, YouTuber, and one half of Good Mythical Morning, Rhett McLaughlin. The news of this artistic detour was a very welcome shock to me. I've been watching Good Mythical Morning for a while now. I didn't grow up with them, but I did get through a crazy binge of all their videos during the lockdown of 2020. So with the announcement of this musical venture, we got the first single with an upcoming album expected sometime in September, so I'm here to talk about that debut single titled Believe Me. And let's not waste any more time, let's just dive in. What are my thoughts on Believe Me? Let's find out as I review it. So let's start with this instrumental, mainly because I think it comes secondary to the lyrical content and history behind the song. With the announcement that Rhett was going to be getting into country, I got a little bit worried since a lot of country is classified by very polished, very poppy motifs nowadays, not a lot of authenticity anymore. Sure, there still is that authenticity, but you do have to go out of your way to really find that style. Thankfully, Rex Take On Country feels like a bit of a hybrid between new and old, hearing the rough plucking of the guitar, the sandy trot of the percussion, and the more bluesy and melancholic presence of the song, I could just feel the influences wash over me. For one, I hear some of the classics like some Merle Haggard, some George Jones, but also pick up the modern side of that style with like the Jason Isbells or the Sturgill Simpsons. The track incorporates a couple of other musical tropes, I like the clicky like castanets that come through for the choruses, and the light vocal harmonies adding a slight but a welcome bit of depth to this instrumental. Another thing I have to compliment here is his voice. For a guy born in Georgia, he doesn't have an accent, and sure, it's probably wrong of me to assume that anyone born in the South would inherently have an accent, but that's almost the norm now in country music. A lot of them do have that kind of honky-tonk accent. Like, for example, look at Jason Aldean, who was born in the same city as Rhett, being Macon, Georgia. But Rhett has a much softer and smoother voice compared to the typical country voice. And it's an honest voice, too, one that isn't tampered by him trying to sing in a higher key or play some kind of accent, nothing like that, and it makes the song feel so sincere and virtuous as a result. Ooh, okay, let's get into the lyrics now. To sum it up in a simple statement, this song is about Rhett's spiritual deconstruction, or more specifically, the reaction and response to him going through it and being public about it, and he simply asks on the chorus not for you to agree, but for you to believe him. Now, I'm not religious or anything, I never have been, and I'm not trying to paint my bias for people who aren't, but let the guy live his life. Like, I've seen some of the comments regarding that whole thing, and at the end of the day, just believe what you want to believe and accept people for who they are and what they want to believe as well. But overall, looking at the song itself, I really like it. Rhett says that this song sets the tone for the upcoming album, both musically and conceptually, and I couldn't be more excited. I'm not sure whether or not that means the album is going to be entirely focused on his deconstruction story, or it's just going to be some more of him singing about similarly serious themes, but either way, I'm really looking forward to it. Transitioning from a comedic YouTube personality to a musician has always been a slippery slope. In most cases I've seen, they're not even serious about it, they're comedians after all. But Rhett is one of the very few cases along with Joji who I think have done it right. Can't wait for the album, I will be right back here to review it when it comes out. As for the song though, I'm feeling a 9 out of 10 on this track. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that review, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!